Hi, today I want to talk to you about a module in the Divi, which is called the Full Width uh, Slider Module. Uh, I've been using it in several of my latest projects, uh, like in this one, uh, and you can see there's different slides here, and you've got a, a title and a button for a call to action. And let me show you another sample in this one. There you go, there are different images. Now I want to show you how to create one of these um, so that you can add it to your, to your um, project. Now there are two similar modules. There's the full width um, header module, which is similar, except it doesn't have slides on it. It's just one image fixed in there with the uh, call to action and the, the title. And then there's the full width slider module, which will be the one that we're going to be using. Now let's create a page here. Let's click Use Divi Builder, click it again. Let's build from scratch. And here you see it doesn't give you the option for a special uh, full width row. So let's just add this and then remove that. And then let's add a new section. And there you will see the full width option. Let's click on that. And you will see that there are fewer modules available to this. I, I wish they add a few more, um, but well, they have these. And here's the full width header that I talked to you about and uh, the, here's the full width slider and there's also a post slider as well let's use the full width slider now and you will see that it's come with two slides already set up let's remove this area that we added here and as you can see it's also it's already a large area before you you add the um the slides to it um, in order to add a, a background to the slide, let's go edit a specific slide. Here's the content, and you would want to add the background here. Let's add a background image. Let's add this one. There we go. And let's go back to the other slide and change the background as well. Now you can add a little uh, overlay if you, these images are too bright. Let's um, save this. Let's exit the visual builder so that we can see it. Here's the one. This one's okay, but the next one it's a little too bright, so we could add our overlay to that. Let's uh, enable the visual builder. And edit the specific slide. Now you have to remember that these slides are independent of each other. So if you make changes to your first slide, uh, you might have to copy the uh, item styles and paste them over to the next one if you want them to be identical. For now, we just want to edit this one. And let's see what it looks like with an overlay. Let's see. We'll look, it looks much better with the background overlay. The text overlay, I imagine it would just take the text. Let's see what that looks like, just for the text. That would work on certain designs, but I prefer the background overlay. That looks much better. And immediately you can just save that. And in order to edit some of the other parts, uh, if you know what these, this, the design tab is the most useful tab in Divi, where you manage everything from the, the title to the button 
to sizing between elements and you can do all of that through the design tab and you can copy your um, duplicate your slides in order to manage them more easily but uh, as you can see you get something great looking with just a few clicks and just adding a good image I used uh, a thousand pixel image uh, optimized uh, for WordPress and compressed in JPEG uh, and that's that was pretty it was like 123 kilo, kilobytes so that's good and uh, you can uh, change the fonts however you want with the color and the, f the Google fonts that Divi comes with and that will help you customize your full width slider module. Um, I hope this uh, video has helped and that you test out all the full width uh, section uh, modules uh, that there are so that you can change the look of your site and, and make sites that uh, pop and that are wonderful to look at.